Carly, let me ask you a question. Are these two angles parallel? Are, I'm sorry, not the two angles. Are the two lines parallel? Yes. Thank you, Bram. Are they parallel? No, right? You have to be sure you can show that they're parallel. And what's so important, again, with the parallel is, yes, these two angles are still going to have a name, but we're going to go and talk about this. So um, Carly, do you know what these angles are, the interior or exterior? Are they inside their two line, parallel lines, or are they outside? They're inside, so they're interior. Are they on the same side of our, remember, here's our transversal. Are they, on the, are they on the same side of the transversal, or are they on alternate sides of the transversal? Alternate, right? So we call these angles alternate interior. Now, do you remember how are alternate interior angles related when we have parallel lines? They're either equal in value, or they add up to 180. What would you guess? They're equal to each other, exactly. These two angles are equal in value. The only angles when we have parallel lines that we've talked about, the relationship of parallel lines is that consecutive interior. Consecutive interior add up to 180. Besides that, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding angles are all equal to each other. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we can create an equation. We can say 8x minus 4 is equal to 60 degrees. Right? This angle is equal to that angle. Now we just need to solve. So you add 4, 8x equals 64. Divide by 8, divide by 8, x equals 8. OK? And there you go. So I'm actually going to decide. Um, do you guys want me to do one more? 